Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. But before I get started, check out uncensoredapparels.com. I found him over on X. He sells some of these shirts have his own design on them. He also sells crypto apparel as well. But he also accepts crypto as a form of payment. Now, he didn't ask me to do this. I did this on my own because I have a soft heart for small business owners because I'm a small business owner myself. But definitely check it out and give him a follow over on X. Now, it looks like there's a lot of scams still popping up all over X. Elon Musk will never DM you his driver's license and ask for Bitcoin. Be careful and report such scammers. I'm telling you, these scams are really starting to pick up. This one comes from Marty Party. PSA people stop falling for key grinding. Key grinding is when a malicious actor makes a wallet address similar to yours and then sends you lots of small transactions to manipulate you into accidentally copy-pasting their address instead of your own. If you are copy-pasting addresses from blockchain explorers, especially for high-value transfers, double, triple check the address. And you, this actually swallowed up $90,000 in the past two hours at the time I'm making this video. Someone even lost over $1 million. People are falling for these scams. That's why it's so important to always keep track of what you're doing when you're moving crypto. Top lawyer says appeal odds in Rippleverse SEC case have risen. Now let's start at the beginning. So attorney Rispoli made the assertion shortly after Ripple requested a stay on the monetary portion of Judge Annalisa Torres' August 7th final judgment. Recall that Ripple reached an agreement with the SEC to move 111% of the penalty amount, representing $138.75 million to the account of its legal team. Ripple disclosed that the money would be held in the account and released 30 days after the expiration of the deadline required to file an appeal notice or the conclusion of an appeal. So then he says that the appeal odds soar. Reacting to this development, attorney Raspoli suggested that the arrangement bolsters the odds of an appeal in the case. While the move does not confirm that an appeal might be filed. Rispoli speculated that the initiative signals uncertainty. He suggested that Ripple likely made the arrangement because the SEC lawyers have not confirmed whether they plan to appeal. Although an appeal is not certain, Rispoli said that the chances of one happening have soared based on recent developments in the lawsuit. I really, really hope that this appeal does not happen. This way we could finally move forward without the SEC. But they just seem to want to hold Ripple back any way they can. I'm hoping for the best on this appeal. Boom, Ripple XRP president announced Ripple is preparing to offer cryptocurrency services in this country. Now, when you first read that, it makes it sound like they're ready to do this inside the United States, but it looks like they're working with banks in South Korea. And we knew South Korea was always another place where Ripple was very big, so that makes a lot of sense. Japan's three major banks to test cross-border stablecoin transfer platform. The three major mega banks are MUFG, SMBC, and Mizhao are set to trial a cross-border stablecoin transfer platform aiming to offer faster international settlement for enterprises. 
Now take a listen to what Brad says here. It's very important. Well, we've always been kind of consistent that we're going to launch, do everything we can to launch this year. Uh, everything Ripple does is in conjunction with regulatory approval, licensing, and so a key issue that we will continue to make sure we are partnered with U.S. regulators before we go live with the stablecoin. We'll first issue it, uh, we expect, in the U.S., but we think there's opportunity for stablecoins globally. And certainly Japan, as you, I think, probably know, they approved some legislation a year ago that came. So it looks like Ripple is planning to launch a stablecoin in Japan as well. So if Japan is ready to start testing stable coins, this makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I think Japan is going to be making a lot of headlines going into 2025. And Ripple is going to be part of those big announcements. Breaking. Ripple CEO meets high-ranking Japanese official to discuss crypto adoption in Japan. So Brad met with the House of Representatives member, who is also in charge of various committees related to Web3 and AI innovations. Like I said, Ripple is well-rounded. You know, they pivoted towards tokenization, custody. They're still going very big on cross-border payments, but they're also pushing towards Web3 and AI as well. And that's how I know XRP, it's a very well-rounded cryptocurrency. It's going to make a lot of people millionaires. You want to be one of those people. You don't want to sell too soon. BRICS, cryptocurrency will reshape the financial system and reset the banking market. Like I've been saying all this time, it goes all the way back to 2022, when Russia first announced their CBDC, I said, watch how fast the rest of the world starts fast tracking. And sure enough, they did. Here we are in 2024, and it looks like BRICS is still pushing full steam ahead without the United States because the U.S. cannot get a stablecoin bill put in place, let alone crypto regulations. I do, however, think that all of these regulations are already written up. We are just waiting for them to go live like an overnight event here in the U.S. Same thing with that stablecoin bill. I think it's just going to happen one day when we wake up. We're going to get the announcement. BitBoy insists ISO 222 was designed for XRP. Now there's a lot of argument going on around ISO. I see it every single day all over X. Some people, they downplay it. They said ISO has nothing to do with cryptocurrency. But why is a handful of cryptocurrencies chosen to be ISO compliant? It doesn't make sense. Why make any coin compliant? Why make any, any white paper and write in there, crypto is involved in this and involved in that? I think people are going to be shocked at what comes from ISO. And XRP is going to be at the heart of this. The new financial system is coming quick. And people either need to wake up or they're going to get left behind in this space. And they're going to be filled with a lot of regrets watching a lot of people on X saying, I just made a million dollars off of my XRP. Because those posts are going to be everywhere once crypto starts to take off. Trump admits sanctions are crushing the dollar. He says that he's going to drop sh sanctions against Russia. And I think that's a good move because Trump's all about the U.S. dollar. He does not give a shit about Bitcoin. I don't even think he cares really about crypto. Maybe XRP because he was meeting with Ripple back in 2018 and he knows how XRP can also strengthen the dollar. But he really cares about the U.S. dollar. And, you know, whenever the U.S. sanctions a country, other countries are paying attention. That's why Operation Sandman came about, where all these countries come together and they drop the U.S. dollar. You know, these people in Washington still are not getting it. They keep sanctioning these countries like these countries care. They're at the point 
where they're about to launch their own gold-backed currency. They're launching a system where they can transact with each other without SWIFT. If anything, sanctions are making the U.S. dollar less relevant. They're making sanctions less re relevant. And they're making SWIFT less relevant all the time. And that's why I see SWIFT being replaced by Ripple at some point. Because all these same BRICS countries also have Ripple rails inside of them. And people could downplay that also all over X. Why would they ever work with the U.S. company? Ripple does not even have to talk to Russia. Russia can use the XRP ledger and XRP without ever working with Ripple. People still don't understand the idea of that yet. And XRP makes a lot of sense inside of BRICS because these BRICS countries need a trust layer. Now, the next thing I think is going to happen, if Trump does become president, most likely he's going to be talking to Ripple once again. Most likely he sees how XRP can strengthen the dollar by moving it from our country to China, from our country to India, from our country to the UK in a matter of seconds instead of a matter of days. Imagine how they move the dollar right now. They pallet it all up, put it on a plane, and fly it over to Ukraine. Imagine sending that payment in a matter of seconds instead. That changes everything. Now imagine the U.S. dollar going gold-backed and XRP still moving it. They could easily fix this current financial system. I still think all of the U.S. debt is going to become tokenized at some time as well. But you know, no matter how this all plays out, you are holding the future when you're holding XRP. You are going to get rich off of your investment as long as you continue to hold it long enough. You cannot sell your crypto too soon. You cannot sell XRP too soon. If anything, sit back, stay patient, and get that passive income from it. You know, Flare's going to also open up a lot of passive income options. We're going to see projects building on the XRP ledger that are only geared towards passive income, especially once XRP really starts to move up in value. Stay patient long enough until it happens. You know, every time I post something on X, right away people say, well, it's still at 60 cents. Or, oh, look at XRP is dipping in price right now. It's at 50 some cents. Those people do not get it. They don't see the big picture here. You know, Ripple's been out there putting these rails in place for a decade. There's not going to be a replacement to Ripple. There's not going to be a replacement to XRP. So why would the hell would you worry about the price of XRP today? If you want to get wealthy, stay focused on where the price is going to be a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, when, you, when utility is driving the price of XRP year over year. And until it happens, stay patient stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.